Hi Aries, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it might not resonate for all of you. If you want something more specific, you can get a personal reading or you can even check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And yeah, we do have Maddox going crazy today. I've been actually trying to get him to calm down for like... 20 minutes, but um, it's not really working. But hopefully he's not going to interrupt us too much. All right, Aries, let's see what is going on for you in March. First half of March, 2021. All right, we have the answer is no, fear and recognition. All right, okay, so somebody is trying to stop fear, <laughs> like right on their tracks. Um, <clears throat> I feel like that's what this answer is no, is referring to, is to this fear. Somebody who has been holding on to fear, it's like, yeah, no more. I gotta put a stop to this. Um, this fear might be related to a connection here, okay? Recognizing the connection for what it is or accepting certain feelings about a specific connection so we're gonna get into the details and see all right so Aries my son is an Aries by the way <clears throat> but most of the time I feel like I resonate more with my rising so yeah let me know what you guys resonate mostly with. Your sun, your rising, your moon, your Venus. Or, or maybe you resonate more with your sun sign, for example, but you find that um, the person you're cross-watching for resonates, it resonates more for you for their rising. Let me know, I'm always curious to know. All right, Aries, so for, okay, Manix, you're gonna have to kind of give us some space. He's doing that because of the candle. <clears throat> the flame fascinates him, but yeah, let's, let's make space. All right, so for your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Nine of Cups. All right. Um, I feel like there is something that you are thinking about taking a leap of faith towards, okay? There's something you've been thinking about doing that might feel a little bit scary. It could be that fear that we're talking about here. Um, it might feel a little bit risky, new, um, something that is like the unknown. And I feel like you've been working up the either the courage or just working on really figuring out how you're going to go about that or whether you should go about doing that because you feel like this risk or this leap of faith is ultimately going to lead you to your wish fulfillment or to something that you really, really want. All right, let's see for your person here. We have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. All right, so <clears throat> you're a person... Wow, there's a lot of love here, all right? Starting this off with the Ten of Cups for them. Um, there's definitely a lot of love, but there's something that is happening either in their lives or within this connection that even though they feel this love, they feel like they could have this happily ever after with you, there is something that is keeping them in a state of unhappiness or um, almost like something is not satisfying them. Something There's something unsatisfactory about them and it, about the situation. It could be something unrelated to you, it could be something in their own lives, or it could even be that maybe they're waiting on you to take this leap of faith and because you haven't, <clears throat> they're feeling a little bit ignored, <clears throat> maybe. We'll see once we clarify. Let's see for the near future. We have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to need to make a decision here. I'm mostly feeling like it's you. 
to be honest, but we'll see once we once we clarify. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made and it needs to be made um, concerning action, like physically taking some kind of action. And I do I do see that happening, but I feel like it's happening in, in small steps. All right, so <clears throat> let's clarify. And don't forget the rules can be reversed. <clears throat> All right. Let's see for you. I want to clarify. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I do feel like you're you're working on this, okay, on whatever this is that you want to do. And it could even be moving away from this connection for now, for example, okay? It could be moving towards this connection. It could be um, taking a leap of faith when it comes to something else in your life that would um, help to resolve things in this connection, okay? It could be anything. But what I'm seeing here is that you are working towards it. And I feel like you're, you're standing very strong, like in your confidence, you're feeling confident about being able to do this. And that really, it's a matter of you just really finding that self-worth. I feel like it's really about self-worth. And that's, it looks like that is what you're working on. So if, if this resonates with you, just take that as encouragement that yes, you know, the more you feel free within yourself or the more you free yourself from circumstances in your environment, that is what is going to help you along, all right? And yeah, a lot of times it can feel difficult. It can feel like it's work, like it's actually work to get to this place of feeling that confidence and feeling that sense of self-worth and knowing what it is that you deserve. Um, but, but you can do it, is what I'm seeing here, okay? Because that Queen of Wands is also your element. You standing strong in your power, being independent, feeling free and that you can provide yourself with everything that you need. Whatever that is in order to take this new <clears throat> this new jump here. Yeah. And I just had the two of swords um, flip out again. So yeah, I feel like you're kind of um, it's like you know it, you're working on it, but then at the same time it's almost as if you're avoiding it at the same time. Let me clarify the fool. We have justice. And I'm so sorry about the noise, guys. I'm telling you, Mannix is like, this is like his happy hour. <clears throat> All right, so whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing, whatever it is that you are feeling like you're working towards, but you might be avoiding it maybe a little bit at the same time, this is your sign here to move ahead in that direction. All right, this could even be what is related to the fear. All right, there might be a fear of this. But whatever this is, whatever this jump is that you're, that you're thinking about making or this move, all right, you have justice attach, attached to that. If we really want to take it very literally and specifically, for some of you, it could, be, it could even be divorce. All right, and for others of you, it's just really um, <clears throat> making a decision according to what you know is in your highest good. I feel like whatever this is, this fool taking that jump is going to lead you to this Nine of Cups. And whatever this Nine of Cups is, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to lead you to some wish, wish fulfillment, something that you want. And you might not even know what that is. You might know that, you know, um, the description of what you want, but you don't know exactly what that is. That is going to come in. That is what this path is going to lead you towards. All right, let me see for, and I do see you doing that. I do see you doing that. It might be taking you a little bit of time, but you you are moving in that direction. So let's see the kind of cups for your person. Yeah, okay, wait, ooh, way too many. The Ace of Pentacles, but I also saw the Six of Cups. Um, so this talks about a very deep connection here, and I feel like this person, all right, whoever it is that's holding on to the fear, because it could be you, it could even be your person, all right, if they're holding on to a fear, or if they've been holding on to a fear, I feel like they still recognize the intensity and the depth of this connection, 
And with this Ace of Pentacles, they see this connection with you not only as something that is just beautiful emotionally, but also practically, that there is something um, between the two of you where there is that passion, there is that love, there's the emotions, the connecting, but then there's also the practical aspect of it where, yeah, maybe certain things might be difficult when it comes to the practicalities, but it's like there's this potential there where even in the practical sense, certain things just seem to really click. So I do feel like this person recognizes this, so I still haven't really figured out what the issue is here, but I'm <clears throat> mostly feeling like it's that fear. Somebody has a fear um, of recognizing something within this connection or of taking a step, taking a step that they do recognize they need to take. So let me see this Four of Cups. The Nine of Swords. All right. Yeah, something here is really stressing this person out a lot. And I really feel it's either that they're feeling, again, roles can be reversed, okay? It could be that they're feeling ignored or they, they're feeling compromised in some way. Let me get one more. The King of Swords, which is really interesting because we also have the Queen of Swords here. So there's a lot of thinking, a lot of, a lot of thinking, a lot of analyzing, a lot of trying to make sense out of the situation on their part. Um, I feel like this is leading them to just, I, I just really get that they almost feel ignored or that their offer hasn't really been accepted by you because they really feel this they really feel this love here I do get that they feel like this might be a difficult connection but it's one that they feel would work let me see the page of swords The five of wands. Okay, so I've, okay, this is getting like interesting because even though I feel like you are the one needing to take a leap of faith, you are the one that needs to do something in order to move towards that nine of cups, which I do feel is related to this person in one way or another, even if it is moving away from them. All right, but for others of you, I feel like for most of you, it's going to be moving towards, towards them. Okay, so I do feel like this might resonate a lot with those of you cross-watching for an Aries. Um, but again, roles can be reversed. Can't say that enough. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm seeing here is that the other person in this setup feels that love, recognizes the, the connection for what it is, but I feel like at the same time it kind of bothers them. They're conflicted by the clarity that they have about this relationship. And it could be because well, I'm saying relationship, but it could just be a connection if you're not, like, in an actual relationship. Um, it could be because, you know, they feel ignored or they feel like things aren't really working out the way that they had wanted or the way that they would want. So it bothers them having the clarity that this is something so strong because that just makes it harder to deal with and therefore they're in this um, stressed type of an energy here. So let's see what is, what is coming up. Let's see this Two of Swords. Queen of Cups. See, here's the thing. You have intuition. Your intuition, I feel, is speaking to you. you. Your heart is speaking to you. You know exactly what it is that you want to do. You know exactly where it is that you want to go. But it's like you're almost... You're almost trying to block that out. But it's interesting that we got the Queen of Cups clarifying this Two of Swords, specifically the Two of Swords in this deck, because look at this. Even though her eyes are covered, the third eye is open, not covered at all. All right, which is what I'm saying with the Queen of Cups, your intuition. You can see what you want from your heart, but your physical eyes are being covered. And that's, that's just ego. That's just a defense mechanism. Okay, allow, 
allow your emotions to come through, allow your feelings to come through because that is what is going to be your indicator for your intuition. And I feel like, I mean, I do see you doing that. All right, I do see you doing that. I feel like this is just like an encouragement for you to um, really focus on your intuition at this point. Let's see the Knight of Wands. Oh, all right, we have death and we have temperance. There is a transformation here. I feel like whatever this fool's energy is, because I, I really feel like this has to do with you, not so much with your with your person. I feel like your your person here um, wants this. Wants this. They're just conflicted with the clarity that they have about the connection because it's stressful to them that things have not worked out. Okay, it's just it's very simple. I feel like the focus here and the emphasis from spirit is on you. So there is movement here and I do see movement happening. This movement might be, again, it might be related to some kind of an ending in one way or another, whether it be with something else in your life or with this connection, whatever that is. Definitely a major transformation here, okay, because we do have some major cards here like justice and death here. And there is some action that's being taken towards that, which this death, whatever that is, okay, whatever that transformation is, whatever that ending is, it's going to bring peace eventually. It's going to be healing. It's going to be in the right direction. I mean, I love how these two action cards, the Fool and the Knight of Wands, they're both clarified by cards like Justice and Temperance, indicating that this action is going to be for, for your best. And you already know that. That's the thing. All right, so finally, let me clarify the page of pentacles. I feel like that's just an extra little message here for you. Right, so, page of pentacles. Wow, the sun, the page of wands, and the ten of pentacles. This page of pentacles, I feel, is, you know, part of that eight of pentacles that's up here. All right, that's actually putting in that effort, being open to something new, to a new way of being, being open to that fool's energy here of taking that leap. And I mean, wow. Because now we also have the Page of Wands. That's all about being open to a new adventure. Whatever that is, and I feel like you know what it is, it's going to bring you happiness and stability, all right, in a connection. This is like where your true happiness lies. And again, it's like, you already know that. It's like so clear. All right, so. Aries. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And let's see what your final message is. Wow, look at that. Like, no joke, I, I feel like this message was like so clear. You know, release the fear, all right? Release that fear. We're saying no to fear. We're saying yes to recognizing what we recognize, not denying it. And begin now. Take your first step. Which is that fool. <laughs> all right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.